Hi everybody, welcome back to All Natural Cam, I'm Kim, and today we are back with another video. This is a January 2022 reading for my fire signs, Aries Leo Sag. Happy New Year's to my fire sign people that's watching this video. And um, if you haven't already, subscribe and like my channel and this video. And yep, yeah, so my fire signs, Aries Leo Sag, I feel like you're drowning. This isn't even a water season, but I feel like you feel like you're drowning in january 2022 now that's not necessarily bad news it could be just you're being forced to change because fire signs are kind of stubborn like earth signs they don't like change that much they're they're new to take they're they like to take on stuff that's new but they really don't like to let go of the old either uh i feel like you've been hiding behind a lot of toxic traits a lot of them you've been hiding behind a like a false you've been hiding behind toxicity trying to mask how you truly feel i feel like you're leaving that behind january 2022 yeah you've been hiding behind a lot of like toxicity like i don't know like maybe it's as a defense mechanism or something like that but you've been hiding behind it It's going to take time to completely release these toxic behaviors and traits that you have uh, accumulated through life. But I feel like it's honestly possible. Yeah, you just got to, you got to close that chapter. You got to, I feel like somebody is helping you with this. Hmm. I feel like somebody is helping you with this. Like it's somebody that is, is it's somebody that's not a gossiper. It's somebody that's really isolated. So it's maybe somebody in their hermit mode as well, but somebody is helping you like leave these toxic traits. That's my fire sign dog. I started the fire sign reading and my fire sign brother started yelling my fire sign dog out there with an attitude like fire signs. Um, but yeah, y'all gonna be planting seeds together. Whoever this person is, your secret is safe with them, and they're not gonna they're not gonna cross you necessarily. They're not it's not even a crossing thing, it's more so of a like a like you're not gonna be really telling them personal, personal business. You're just gonna be telling them your toxic traits and y'all gonna be trying to work through those toxic traits together because i feel like that person had toxic traits too or similar toxic traits and now they're helping y'all y'all helping each other heal in january 2022 i don't know what yeah you're completing a cycle in 2022 they yo guys have sent this person in your life to help you close out this negativity this toxicity that you keep hiding behind because the toxicity is just fears that you're hiding behind so if, for instance oh and unconsciously but consciously you're gonna become the main character oh this is such a fire sign thing to do it's such a fire sign thing you're gonna become the prize the main character you're gonna become all that this is such a fire sign thing to do like you like you with this person and you just kicking it with this person like this could be like a random person like you know how movies where uh somebody meets this random old person and they still start hanging out with this random old person every day don't know who this random old person is related to nothing like that but you know they talking it out and they just talking and they just like yeah this random old person gives them a lot of advice they start hanging out more it's just it's like the most unexpected friend you ever thought you could get in your life because it's like it's like a freaking 18 year old hanging out with a, a 67 year old and y'all having a blast your mindset is expanding and you just you're just like wow like i never thought i'd be friends with this type of person i never thought this person this type of person would help me get as far as i'm getting right now like i this person is teaching you that these fears and insecurities and toxicities that you had behind is just holding you back from being the main character and when you and like i feel like towards the end of january when you become this main character 
and everybody just like wow such and such changed or wow such and such like really just like evolved or something like that such such did this such such did that like wow you just you won't you won't even notice it you like you noticed it but you won't notice it like wow like i did like i did that like i did heal like <laughs> wow i don't react the same way anymore or wow this or wow that like wow you know um what i say you're healing uh january 2022 this seems like a very mellow energy i'm very proud of you fire signs because these traits these toxic systems the toxicity that you've been hiding behind has been something that you've been hiding behind for a long time. It's kind of like a gunk, like really, really hard gunk. And you got to use like Pepsi or Coke or Sprite or something or something to clean it out. And you got to scrub it over and over again. And you got to, you got to rake it up and all the other stuff. Like, but you're cleaning it out. You're cleaning it out. And, it, and by the time you look up, you're going to have like a healthy glow. You're going to be a, a brand new person and you're going to be like, like, wow, I really like being this person versus that unhealed version of myself. I like this version better. So you're going to choose to stick to that person. I mean, yeah, you're going to choose to stick to that version, person, whatever. Now, this person that's in your life, that's helping you evolve, I don't feel like they're going to be in your life for a very long time. It's like a, a, a passer or buy, passer buyer. If I said that right. But yeah, this person's not going to be in your life for a very long time. I don't know why I hear like they're going to die. I hope they don't die. Um, That just threw me off. Now I got sex. <laughs> like, oh my God. <laughs> that shit's sad as fuck. Um, what was I saying? That shit's sad. Uh, this person helped you grow so much and now I just want to leave? Is this my attachment issues talking? Like, I don't want to cry. But yeah, this person's going to be helping you grow a lot. Um, <laughs> I want to cry. It's an earth angel. Okay, don't cry. It was an earth angel. Okay. <sighs> that shit's sad as fuck. Whoever this person is, they're really helping you get past a lot of stuff. And I don't feel like they're going to be in your life for a really long time. I'm really crying on camera. <laughs> I don't feel like they're going to be in your life for a long time, but they're really going to help you close some chapters help you from hiding like behind toxic traits and things like that uh this one's sparkling wine you know your new year's happy new year's if i didn't say it i gotta calm down because this shit getting sad Yeah, they were an earth angel and they really helped you like they're really helping you change or like you're really changing throughout January. And this person is not meant to be in your life for a long time, but they really like really helping in a major transformation for yourself. My throat getting tight. It's a Virgo. But yeah, this person is definitely some sort of earth sign, earth something. It's some sort of earth, but this is, maybe it's a Virgo or something. I feel like somebody's going to try to steal this person away from you because this person helps you change so much or something like that. Or they see what this person did for you. So now they want this person too or something like that. I don't know. I Some, some of y'all, that person might die or whatever. But it's an Aries. This person might, yeah, try to steal this person from you because they mad that this person helping you evolve or something like that. Um, it could be an Aries. Like, you could be an Aries and they could try to steal them from you or whatever. But, yeah.
Um, yeah, you heal. Heal. I feel like you're healing. You're really healing. This person really helped you a lot. Like, whoever this hater is that's coming to take this person away from you, they may be coming to tell this person some information, trying to say that, like, you know, this person, like, uh, so this fire sign did this is this for you. Like, could be, like, a short-term girlfriend, partner, or something like that. And they just, like, you know, they fuck, like, it's something, like, it's some hater-ass shit. It's some hater stuff, and they do not want you to stay with this person. What else do the fire signs need to know? The karma is on the way. In need of grounding. So, after this, after you lose this person, you're going to need to heal. I mean, well, you already, like, this person helped you, healed. But you're going to need to continue this on your own. You're going to need to continue doing this on your own. Like, this person taught you a lot. And now you need to continue it. Because you like the new person that you've become. So, yeah. The person who just tried to steal this person away from you is a fan. They're a Virgo. Or some, I mean, not Virgo. I don't know why I said they're Virgo. But they're a fan. And that's why they did they're doing this to take this person away from you because they're a fan and they're mad and they hate you and they don't want you to heal or evolve or nothing like that they want you to stay the same it could be somebody in your circle that's going to tell them gossip they're trying to copy you and to copy you they need this person so they're trying to take this person away from you so that they can copy you and be like look i'm the one with the person like i'm the one with the good person and this and the other even if they do take this person away from you it's not gonna last long or make this person stay away from you. It's not going to last long. Like, I don't feel like y'all going to get back together or nothing. But they're definitely not going to stay with this other person. The fuck? Pick up your feelings. Um, yeah, this person is just hating. They all up in their feels. Because you healing. You're becoming a better person. You look beautiful. You look good. In January. That's just sad. Oh my god. That really was sad. I've... My heart go out to situations like that. I'm like, what? No. They helped you so much. What do our fire signs need to know? Somebody, the person who wants to go and tell this person who giving you all this stuff, trying to take your stuff away, the person that's doing that, they, um, they basically been stalking your accomplishments. Right now you're at the nine of wands. You got everything you need to, you got everything you need to be successful right now. Um, you're almost there. Literally. You just need your last one. You're almost there. You're red hot. You're on fire. You, you. You are going after your dreams. You are doing what you need to do. All that. Excuse me. But. This person just like. This person was just watching you. And watching how happy you were. And how you were almost there. And things like that. I feel like you've been keeping your intuition to yourself or your just your plans, your goals and things like that. You've been keeping that to yourself because people don't really need to know about it. That's what you really concluded because these 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 goals that you have is not something you want to brag about. Like even when you do achieve these goals, you're not going to tell anybody because this is for you. Like fire size, whatever you doing right now, this is for you. This is I just keep hearing this is for me. Like, I'm proving this to myself. This shit sad. Okay. I'm proving this to myself. I need to do this for me. That's crazy. <sighs> yeah. You're going to be really abundant in January. I feel like you're going to get a large lump sum of money that's going to last you through January. Or in January, you're just going to get like a large lump sum of money, like 10K or something like that. Just a large lump sum of money that's going to last you a while. 
Ugh. There you go. I see at the bottom of this deck plotting on you. Like, they really want to take your happiness. They really want to just, like, they really just want you to be sad. And this is so wrong. This is really wrong. Like, whoever this person is is just a bad person. Like, they're just a jealous, envious, horrible person. And they just really want you to be sad. Like, they see you over here healing. So, they're like, um, I'm finna go to the thing that's helping them heal. I'm finna go, I'm finna go be an asshole to the person that's helping it. Like, I'm finna just go be an asshole and just tell them some stuff that, like, makes them leave you or something like that. Like, uh-uh. That shit's sad. They're not gonna last long at all. And you can't even see it. That's how person is. That's how person. That's how sneaky this person is. Like this is some. This is like a random that you wouldn't even expect. The person that's trying to come take your earth angel. Now I'm getting pissed off. Kato. He over there uh, crying. Yeah. But don't cry over spilled milk because this person that tries to take this person from you or whatever and it doesn't last long or whatever um, if this person doesn't die <laughs> or whatever. Um, you're not going to dwell on this situation for long because... You you trying to you focusing on what this person taught you. You focusing on being determined, consistent, all that other stuff. So you're not gonna focus on this for long at all. And I feel like you know what's meant to be will always come back. Period. What's meant to be will always come back. So in the meantime, just keep working, keep doing everything that this person taught you or the situation taught you. Um Stick true to yourself, your feelings, and, and just your intuition. You have everything that you need right now. Just keep going. Keep investing in yourself. Keep your dreams and your goals silent. Keep this money, this lump sum of money that you get silent. It's a Libra. Gossip. Check your circle. So it could be a Libra that's telling this person all this business so they can go back and try to steal your happiness and, you know, try to take it from you. What are my fire signs need to know? What are my fire signs need to know? Don't let your past hold you back. Yeah, don't let this person stop you. Because I feel like this person that heard this gossip from this Libra that's trying to bring it to that other person is old. That's why it's not going to last long. Like, even if it does rip this person out of your life for a second or two or whatever, it's old gossip. And it's 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 just old. And you can't really dwell on it. You know what I'm saying? You can't really. It was, yeah. Show the world the real you. Step out your comfort zone and confidence is your key to success. Yeah. When you heal, you're going to display like a whole different version of yourself. Like you're going to show a whole different version of yourself. So basically, fire signs, you're getting some information or just information is coming out about you to somebody that's very important or somebody that came for a short, like somebody that has a great, had a great impact on your transformation. Information is coming out about you where this person is going to have to step away from you for a while. and But you're healed enough to show the world the real you and not, you know, hide behind the fears and toxicity and things like that. I don't even think you're going to even want your lick back. I don't even think you're going to want that. you just going to, like, understand, like, okay. All right. Or that person is going to understand towards you because, you know, energy is always vice versa or whatever. It can be like go both ways. But you just going to understand towards you like, OK, like I understand like like even if you're the person that is receiving the information about your person and you and you're the earth angel and you're just like, OK. Like, I don't hate this person, though. Like, I still love this person. Like, but I know that I have to step away from me. But 
I still do love this person. I don't wish any hate on this person. Uh, I care for this person deeply, but I need to step away so I can process this information. That's it. So, yeah, this is a really, it feels like you're drowning. It feels like you're drowning, fire size. It feels like you're drowning. But it's a good drown. Like, you're literally finna come out this glowing, healthy, on top. All of that. Like, uh-uh. And whoever is trying to, you know, stop this beautiful union that's going on, they gonna feel this. They gonna feel this. It's the Pisces and Jupiter. Uh Pisces and Jupiter came up in the last two. That's why I wanted water and fire. It came up in the last two. So, God. Jupiter. Pisces. Pisces and Jupiter. All of this has happened because of Pisces and Jupiter. Uh, okay. And Chiron, like I said, you're healing from a lot of things that you used to hide behind. And, you know, childhood issues are usually the cause of those things. So, yeah. All right, Fire Signs. I'm going to end your reading off right here. I pray for y'all. I love y'all so much. This is such a genuine situation. Fuck whoever trying to ruin it. It's crazy. But, all right. Love you guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Um, also... Follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, all those things. So, yeah. Love you guys so much. Peace.